right, let's hit F10 and stop and take a look. So now we can see we've went from 10 degree to 20 degree. And we can see that we went from 193 horsepower to 202. So that is another positive change. We know going from that cam angle is going to be giving us uh, a gain. You know, we see on the dyno, looking at our screen here, um, we can see that I added 8% overall. Now on top, we have to take a little bit out. That's okay. We added 8%, but we're having to take out maybe 2 or 3%. But the change from 10 to 20 without changing the fuel table showed that we needed to add fuel. And that means that this cam angle, if we had no dyno, is telling me that, yes, this is a positive change going from 10 to 20. And obviously we're able to verify that on the dyno. We can see the torque, 135 now. So we gained about another 15 foot pounds of torque going from 10 to 20 foot pounds, 10 to 20 cam angle, 10 to 20 degree cam angle. Let's go in and make our changes to our Lambda overlay. Let's take out 3%. Let's take out 2%. And we can see 1% we have to add here. Take out 1%, take out 2%. Oops, control J, control Z, I should say. Undo what I just did there. Looks like it, there we go. Must have keystroked the wrong thing. Control J, take out five. Control J again here. Take out four, control J, five. Control J up top here, six. Okay, so we can see that our lines are getting a little bit close to each other. Let's copy and paste our eight into our seven. Control D, let's bring this down a little bit. Let's do the same thing into our uh, column six. We're gonna copy our seven and paste it into six. Control D and just kind of turn it down a little bit there. That should be a little bit better. So looking at this now, we saw no knock count, which is great. We can try to add a little more ignition timing. Um, let's jump in here, Control L. Clear that out. Jump into our spark timing table on 20 degree. I'm going to jump and highlight the whole table. Add two degrees. I expect my ignition timing once I get up to 30, 40, 50 degrees to be able to handle at least 30 degrees of advance for 93 octane. So I'm running 93 octane in this end in the fuel system. The engine is stock, and you're going to be 